Okay, let's get started. So for the brand new people who have never been here before, who are here for their first time today, and who are brand new to ITU, well, if you're not brand new to ITU and you're here for the first time today, don't worry about it. This is directly, dr this, these comments are directly guided towards those people who are brand new to ITU and are brand new to this class who have just shown up today. Write down this URL to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. bhecker.com that's what you want. It automatically goes to ITU, but it's bhacker.com. On this website, we have all the materials for the course. Uh, this week, I'll be putting them into the LMS as well, or EMS as well, which is our education management system. And there's my TA. Here's your attendance for you. You're so punctual. Actually, you're, you are. It's only 10.02. I was early. So here's your TA. Here's your uh, attendance. Perfect. All right. So... Uh, <coughs> What we have then is uh, fall 2012, HTML, CSS, that's this class. And this is what I'm going to go over today, free websites. Uh, we have covered, uh, what did we cover last time? Lecture one-ish. Anybody here last time? What did we cover last time? Lecture one, maybe? You know, when we start the lecture, I'll remind, I'll ask you again. Uh, if you missed one of the two, we've been going on for two weeks. This is the third week so far. Uh, what you've got up here are the recorded videos for fall 2012 of week one and week two. And you can go back through and watch those. Um, so you really haven't missed that much. It's just the beginning. Um, all of the assignments for the course are here. I'm going to be talking about assignment number one today, actually. And uh, all the lectures are here as well. And then if you want, you can go back a year ago and watch last, uh, last year's videos from the class if you want. So it doesn't really matter. They're going to be the same. Probably different humor, but same different people, with the same class. So, so that's uh, my ten minute sp spiel for those people who are brand, brand, brand new. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I just want to do a visual head count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Uh, you do realize that attendance is required. Okay. I mean, you guys know that because you're here. So, for people listening to this video at home, <laughs> it is because I'm recording this right now. Uh, there's 19 people, the 19 people on the roster, you, no one can sign your name for you if you're not here. Uh, in fact, the TA is supposed to be checking IDs. It's not roaming around, right? I'm sorry? You'll be taking it at the end of class. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, good, good. Yeah, but you know the drill, you have to check the IDs unless you recognize the person. Yeah, and only one signature per person. Yeah. We are seriously cutting, we are cutting down on and trying to you know, get rid of those um, people who just don't want to play the right game, <laughs> work with the system correctly, uh, which means attend your own classes. Okay, all right. So assignment number one is a good place to start today uh, because it gives you something to do for those people who are extremely bored and want something to do. You can start working on your assignments for this class. <laughs> this first one is pretty easy, actually. Not too bad. And uh, as we're going through the lecture, you'll be able to, um, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can read it. As we're going through the lecture, you can actually um, start thinking about this assignment and maybe even start writing it today if we go through. Uh, by the end of this week, next week, I'll, I'll show you the EMS entries. You can't turn it in yet, but you'll be able to turn it in probably at the end of this week or you know, by, by Wednesday, I'll let you know if it's been posted. I've been trying to configure the EMS, and that's where you have to upload it to. Okay, so what you've got then is a creating a web page assignment. Let me make sure I can make, make this a little bit bigger. Let's see. That's on 200. Let's go 250. Let's see how that works. Ah, it's getting bigger. Okay, better. Big, bigger. There we go. So assignment number one is create a web page. Well, what do you only want for the web page? You don't have to use the CSS, by the way. This is just a static web page. So for your first assignment, you're going to create a home page, <coughs> and you will place uh, on the, you will place the home page on the web um, if you can. If you don't, you just give me the home page. What you're uploading to the EMS is the .html file and all of the associated files that go with it. If you have more than one file, you'll have to zip the files to, to compress them together into one file. I do not want Microsoft Word files. There's no such thing as a Microsoft Word file because what I'm going to do in terms of web development. You can't do it in Microsoft Word. What I'm going to do is download your file, unzip it, 
double click on your HTML files. Last thing in the world I want to do is cut and paste your HTML files from a Word file and put them into an HTML file and then try to get your website to work. The easier you make it so that I can run your website, the higher your grade. <laughs> if I can't run your website, it gets a zero because you know you gave me you put it in a PDF file or a Word file or something and it's too much work for me. I'm going to tell you no, I'm sorry, this is not working. <laughs> so, uh, make sure you put in a text file. Long story short, we're talking about text, text editors and text files. Uh, not to scare you, if it's, if it's a technical difficulty. You have it all together, but it's just not running. Don't worry about it. You still get <laughs> I'm not gonna. It's just for those people who just, you know, don't want to do things correctly. Who just want to put things in Microsoft Word files. In fact, we used to do that in programming courses, because then the teacher couldn't run it. Yeah. They're not going to they're not going to compile it if they can't run it, right? So, but cut and paste your code, put it in a word file. Like, what are you what are you telling the teacher? You're telling me that you don't your code's broken. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. All right, so uh, let's see. In addition to telling the world about you, your homepage should serve as a central repository for the web-based applications that you're going to develop for the quarter or for the semester. Um, what you're going to do is create a landing page. And I'm going to show you some free websites in a few minutes, so you don't have to go out and buy anything. Your landing page is going to have like links to your other assignments and stuff. It keeps it all together. If you're doing it this way, you could submit a text file, or I don't know if you can submit the file with just uh, text in the description when you submit it into the EMS, but all you have to do is really give me the link if you're going to do it this way. The only thing is that you have to make sure your website's going to be around and that the link actually works. So it's probably safer just to upload the files. That's what I'm thinking. But if you want to test them out, you can test them out on, on, a, on a real live website. The layout and the content of the web page is entirely up to you. Uh, so now you can use your design skills, if you have any. Um, encourage you to be creative and productive. Uh, produce a uh, document that you're going to be proud of to display to the world. Yeah, okay. Uh, at a bare minimum, your page should include and uh, your page should be divided into two frames. And you're going to be like, nobody uses frames anymore. Nobody uses frames anymore. Correct. However, I want you to use them. <laughs> two frames. Uh, just so you know what they are. It's a bad design. And I'm going to talk about frames. I'll probably talk about frames today uh, if I get that far. Um, it starts out at the beginning of the lecture, and then I talk about divs and stuff after frames and tables and stuff. One of them is going to contain your personal information, and the other one is going to be a menu of links. So you're going to have a menu. So it starts the thinking, and it gets you starting to think about website designs. And the first thing you're going to notice is why you don't want to use a frame. You can't print frame stuff. You can't really print out well, um, especially for giving content to users. Uh, I'll talk about frames later, though, and the pros and cons. But uh, long story short, follow through, even though you may not agree with it, follow through what the assignment tells you to do. Uh, the menu is going to have links on it, and the menu is going to jump within the same, within the info page and the external links and load into the frame. Of the, so let's say, for example, you've got a frame on the, frame on the left or frame on the right, and uh, it's a small little narrow one. They don't all have to be the same size. Just think of it as a part of the page where you click on those links, like a menu item, and then it opens up stuff on the right. So you're loading multiple pages. So your, your site's going to have multiple pages in it. <laughs> you're going to have a main page, then you're going to have multiple pages that are going to be clicked on, that are going to open up other things in other parts of the site. Basic functionality. And it's actually not as hard as it sounds, but it makes you put the pieces together. In terms of assembling it. Um, so your info page must have your name primarily on centered at the top. Uh, see if you can follow this through, your hobbies, stuff like that. Uh, your info page should perform some text formatting, bold, italic, uh, but do not try to overdo it. Um, you know, like make it so it looks like a clown threw up on the page. Uh, you should include a favorite quote, a poem, uh, I don't know, something just some information on there. I'm not going to downgrade you if I don't like the name of your poem or your movie or something, you know, or if you forget to put one on there. You know, it's just suggested content. And so there should be at least one um, of your top ten favorite CDs, eh, one list, one list, so 
you're going to create a list. I'm talking about lists and stuff like that. You should have at least five links in the page, including a link to the, well, not Hayward. I was actually given this assignment at Hayward. We're at ITU, though. Uh, I need to edit that. Um, so one link to the ITU homepage, and uh, at least two images in the uh, page. Um, let's have one table, uh, some of the rows. So it looks like a lot of requirements. Basically, it's going to have you go through the next lecture I'm going to give you and put all that stuff together is what it's going to have you do. And I have examples of all of this stuff, by the way. So if you're brand new to this, don't, don't stress out yet. But it gives you something to work on. And this one, you probably, there's, I'm not setting any final definitive due dates rather than having you stress over due dates. Everything's due by the end of the quarter. But each week as we go through, I'm going to suggest which ones you should be working on. This week, you want to work on this one. <laughs> Assignment number one. <laughs> and then uh, in another week, probably next week, you'll learn what I'm working on. Assignment number two. And we'll, we'll go through that as uh, we go through so. Uh, let's see, standard HTML features only. Use standard HTML features only, not HTML5. I don't, I don't want to see a video out there. I don't want to see, I don't, you know, I don't want you to uh, venture past the basic HTML. No CSS either. Um, viewable in either Internet Explorer, uh, that should not, should be Netscape. Netscape doesn't run it. Or Firefox. Firefox is the one you want to use on that one. Uh, it looks like I have to edit this. And, uh, there, uh, while it may look exactly the same due to inconsistencies in the web browsers, the pages look reasonably under either browser. Well, don't worry, don't stress about it if if it doesn't look identical. It'll look reasonably similar. The features that you're putting in there aren't going to be something that's going to be browser specific because you're only creating basic HTML. So it doesn't really, it shouldn't really matter which browser you bring this up in because they're all going to support everything. Questions about assignment number one, and you can find assignment number one at this link here. But you have to turn in assignment number one through the EMS, and the EMS isn't ready yet. So, unless you've finished assignment number one already, actually some students probably have, um, then uh, hold off. I'll tell you next week, and we'll run through uploading it. So, actually, you know what? This class might be in here. Let me just check it real quick. I might actually have it in here. I think it might be the graphics class that's not in there. Uh, let's see. To be updated. Okay. Uh, and this one is in here. This Okay, this class is already set up, so you can upload it. Uh, when you have it available, you're going to have a different interface. Um, my interface is for teachers, so it looks slightly different. No one's turned it in yet, <laughs> but I did create the links. The class is already set up, so you can go in there whenever you have it ready and upload it. The due dates on everything is set for December 14th, uh, which is a long ways away. But you don't want to wait until <coughs> December 13th to put everything in there or to do all the work before you can put everything in there. Okay, so. It's going to be way too short notice. But that, this class is set up, by the way. So. All right, now I'll go back to the age-old questions. Does everyone remember what we were doing last time? Yes, we oh, have a question? So we don't have to turn in by the next week? No, no. Turn it in when you have it ready. <coughs> you guys are graduate students. You all have stuff you're doing, jobs and stuff like that, and I don't know, life and stuff. I'm not going to hold you to deadlines, like, you know, it has to be in by midnight tomorrow night. No, instead, December 14th, everything must be in, but I wouldn't wait till then. I'd that like turn it in. Lazy. Huh? That makes me lazy to do this. It makes you too lazy. Would you rather have due dates? I can give you due dates. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> have it in in two weeks. That's the, your special due date. <laughs> it should take you no more than two weeks, probably. <laughs> All right, last time I was here, <clears throat> I believe I started this lecture... Did I go through it all? Uh, nobody was here, was they? Let's see. Let me just skip to the end here and see if any of this looks familiar to anyone. I was talking about XML and HTML. I think I stopped at the XHTML combining. Uh, did I finish the whole thing? Do you remember what slide number it was? I 
I could find out really easily. Actually, I should just watch the video from last week. <laughs> All right, let me stop this for a second here.